Porter County. A robbery confession where you'd least expect it. Police arrested a man after he bragged about a bank heist on a radio talk show. We knew the girl that worked in the bank. So we set everything up. We planned it out, turned my house into a, uh, the bank accident, acted out for like weeks. Really? <laughs> wow. Crazy, yeah. That's so, crazy. Well, that was the conversation on KISS FM last fall. Now the FBI has traced the voice on the other end of the line and have charged two people for robbing a bank in South Chicago Heights. Yesterday, agents arrested 24-year-old Randy Washington, the alleged caller, and 18-year-old William Slate. The FBI got suspicious because the caller knew details only the robbers would know. Authorities are still looking for as many as four other people who may have been involved. A bragging robber gives police all the ammunition they need to arrest him. The alleged criminal called Drex, the KISS FM radio talk show host, during a segment on crime confessions. He not only admitted to robbing a bank, but he said he had inside help. The girl inside, she was the, she was the main key. If you want to rob a bank, you need somebody on the inside. Turns out an FBI agent was listening. A TCF bank in South Chicago Heights had been robbed last year by two armed gunmen who took off with $80,000. The FBI agent got the radio tapes, traced them, and then arrested the suspects, Randy Washington of Dalton and William Slate of Tinley Park. Does better mean more expensive? Not for those of you. Avenue for a Louis Vuitton wallet and other luxury items. It just so happens that this person called and confessed to a felony. Okay, again, he was anonymous. He just happened to be recognized. Recognized by a worker from the bank. An FBI worker also heard the radio show, and soon agents were at the station tracing the cell phone call to 24-year-old Randy Washington of Dalton. Also arrested, 19-year-old William Slate, who recently moved to Dallas. Not all the bank robbers that we apprehend are, are the smartest uh, criminals in the, uh, in the world. D claims it was his only bank robbery, and he was ready in case it got botched. Did you guys have a plan B? A plan B, like if he would get caught? Yeah. Going like hell? <laughs> <laughs> but after blabbing on the radio, he couldn't run from the law. Washington and Slate are in jail now, ordered held without bond yesterday in federal court. Washington's attorney with the Public Defender's Office would not comment on the case today. And Alan and Kathy, the feds say there were several more accomplices. They are expecting more arrests to be made, but they're not expecting any more radio confessions. Unbelievable. <laughs> Went unsolved for five months. Yeah. Five months. And might have remained unsolved. Right. He Probably might have would have. Time. The feds said they didn't have any hot leads yeah. until that yeah. radio confession. Unreal. Okay. One for the file. Kevin, thanks. Money and declining enrollment tonight expected to force the Chicago Arts... And at the end of the broadcast tonight, they didn't have a lead until the bank robber called the local radio station. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. At ground level. When we come back this evening, the bank robber who just had to talk about it. Plus, Diane and Robin's Girls' Night Out. Let's Vegas, baby, Vegas, baby. <laughs> Only on Good Morning America tomorrow. Finally this evening, a story from Chicago. How to solve a bank robbery. In Chicago, police say they finally figured out who managed to rob a bank last spring and get away without any traces, except for one thing. The guy who says he did it just couldn't keep his mouth shut. Here's ABC's Dean Reynolds. Five months after this TCF bank in suburban Chicago was robbed, a radio station here got a call from a man who certainly fits the definition of dumb. What up? So your friends robbed the TF, uh, TCF bank. That's right. We knew the girl that worked in the bank. So we set everything up. We planned it out. Wait, so it worked. All the work worked. Everybody got, everybody got 18. Everybody got 18 grand. Holy oh. cow! Until the caller, later identified as 24-year-old Randy Washington, picked up the phone, the FBI had no leads in the case. It's 103.5 KISS FM. But KISS FM's morning show, Confessional, had invited any listener who'd gotten away with a crime to call in. And the FBI says Mr. Washington did. They have a cool. My guy was outside. They walked out with their bags. Looked like little school kids. Hop in the car. We got uh, 90, 90, 95,000. However, a listener happened to have witnessed that robbery and called the authorities about it after the show. 
Authorities called the station and the FBI arrived within two hours. There, agents discovered phone records that led them right to Mr. Washington, who was charged this week. We're used to people confessing that they cheated on their wives or they're secretly in love with their stepbrother. This is a little over the top. I'm sure that uh, people should take a lesson to be learned here, which is probably don't brag about felonies. <laughs> people at the radio station said it was the dumbest thing they've ever heard. And as for the FBI? And would you agree with that? Well, I don't know if it's the dumbest, but he'll certainly be in the team picture, you know. <laughs> Dean Reynolds, ABC News, Chicago. Modern Radio. That's our report on World News tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good evening. Hope we'll see you again tomorrow. Good night. This has been a presentation of ABC News.